Hey everyone, my name is Jack. Today I'm bringing you guys a banger effect that you can use in your Fortnite montage. This effect was popularized by Mayan, and thank you to Hydrox for letting me use this clip and cinematics. His links will be down in the description. Anyways, if you do go on to enjoy this video, be sure to hit a like and use code YoJack to help me out. If you're gonna use this effect, you should watch the whole tutorial first so you know what's happening when you do it. Alright, so to get started, you want to head over to the part where the character pulls out his gun and then go skip a little bit until you see that pellet. Now you want to drag uh, the song. You want to find a part of the song where the volume lowers down rapidly. And I'm going to trim mine and make sure it's synced with the beat. So once you have your clip and the song synced together, what we're gonna do is find that part uh, that I just talked about where it uh, lowers down. Mine is over here. So what I'm going to do now is basically take a snapshot every other frame. So if I just press this button over here, I took one. I'm gonna go on and skip the other and then take another one. Then go one more time, another time, and then take a snapshot. Now that you have done that, until uh, this part, you're going to want to open Photoshop. You're just going to click on File, New and Custom, 1920 by 1080. After that, you just want to go to the Documents, Wondershare, Wondershare for more, and go to Snapshot. Scroll all the way down, and then I'll select the last ones that you took. And if you see this icon over here, what you want to do is Control A. You want to press Rasterize Layers. You want to go down to the third tool, and if you right click, you could select different ones. For now, I'm just going to select the first one and I'm just going to draw around the character. If you right click, you're going to see content aware fill. Now you want to make sure the output is on the current layer and personally I found that the rectangle works best. So as you guys see the auto messed up the building with my on rectangle, it looks uh, much better. I'm gonna click OK and yeah that's how easy it is. I'm gonna go to file and click export click to the pictures and make a new folder. I'm gonna save this as image one. Now as you guys see for this one it's not aligned perfectly so what I'm going to do is press ctrl D and I'm just gonna redraw this uh, one more time. Now I wanna show you this example of what happens when it's when it looks very bad. So what you could do is head over to this tool over here. You're gonna press Alt and then left click. You're just gonna color basically. So just like that, I already did it, and it doesn't have to be perfect because it's literally gonna be one millisecond. Once you're done with all the steps, you're gonna go to this folder and press on this. It's gonna make it much organized. So you're gonna drag all the pictures and import it. Now, make sure you remember where you left off. My first image was at this point, so what I'm going to do is drag this first one over here. And you want to make it one frame long. And make sure also that the project setting is in 25 FPS or preferably 24. Okay, and then since I skipped one, I'm going to go over here and drag one, cut it. So basically, that is the main effect. But if you did come here to also watch uh, how to time remap the cinematic, I'll show you because I've never really done a tutorial on it. But first, we're gonna add cannon crop to this uh, kill and make the skill uh, pretty high. I'm gonna skip a few frames and just make it at zero. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go one, two frames maybe, and just lower this down to a number about this. It doesn't have to be exactly like mine because. Not all the clips are going to be the same. Go to the effect and get the up and down one. I'm going to disable RGB, lower the uh, X. And just cut it like this. So once you have the shake, you just want to copy it and paste it on uh, the above layer. Alright, so since there is a B over here, what I'm going to do is add a trim. And make this a little bit up. And then just go like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 maybe. And then yeah, split it. And then what I'm going to do is go to the effect, up and down 1. You're going to remove RGB, lower down the X. The frequency can be lower until it does the Y. 
all right so what i did is basically just easy ease uh, the frames over here so if i remove this this is what you get but i just lowered the value down a little bit all right so once you have your cinematic in i'm just gonna make it so it fits uh, where i want it by making the custom speed to uh, all the way up until i like it all right so what you're gonna do next is you want to find basically the middle and just cut it i'm gonna make this all the way up so maybe like that works fine uh you want to have this majority as well go all the way up and have it to where it was now if you make this uh to an almost speed it should work but what i'm going to do is hire this a tiny bit more and if i just drag this and make it uh so maybe 10 is fine and then since i have it slowed down i want to make it flow between so i'm just gonna have this uh two speed and just uh make this normal now i just want to let you guys know that this is more about experimenting with the values like there's no perfect formula that you could just plug in numbers the basic rule is to have the first part really fast and it shows a lot of the frames and then the middle is going to be really slow and then it's going to go fast one more time once you have done that you just want to drag this first part and depending on where the cinematic goes like the camera angle just goes down so now for the transition, uh, there are two that I like to use and it's the wrap zooms or you can use the speed blur. So if you want to use the speed blur, you just want to follow the direction of the cinematic. So mine goes from left to the right. So I'm going to choose the simple roll or if you want, you could use one of those uh, wrap zooms. So I'm just going to use this one and make it small and then render it. So that is the end of the tutorial. I'm sorry for making it really long but if you guys do want more tutorials let me know down below and as always have a wonderful day if you made it to the end thank you so much comment blue and have a wonderful day